So for week six question, we're looking at the overexpressed P53 in 293 T cells. And we're gonna run a P qPCR to check the levels of the mRNA. So the reagents that we need for qPCR. So first we're gonna make an overexpression vector. So we're gonna buy a vector and each vector has a promoter. I'm gonna put like little bars to say like that's a promoter. And then plus minus, and then the gene expressed, which is going to be P53. And then we're going to wait 24 to 48 hours to create a bunch of P53 um, inside of the cell. And then we are going to, uh, we're going to isolate. the RNA and we're going to pellet it with a centrifuge and then from there we're going to turn the RNA into cDNA oh. and that's so that we have we can turn the mRNA into the DNA that can be expressed over and over again to get a big chunk of information for the qPCR um, and it's going to expand exponentially with the amount of products um, and then from there we're going to add in the p53 primers and we're going to be able to run a gel electrophoresis so we're gonna have our little DNA ladder to see the size of the DNA bands. We're gonna have our control, which is gonna have um, no overexpression vector and no, yeah, it's just gonna have no overexpression vector, but it's gonna have the P53 primers so that we can see how much P53 is in the control. And then we're gonna have the overexpression P53. And then let's just say this is about size 50. We're gonna have a little bit at the control and then we're gonna have a lot more at, for the overexpression of P53. And then to see the levels um, in an analyzed graph, we have a, um, a luminescence graph. And then it's gonna be the overexpressed P53. It's gonna be around 10 for the luminescence and then we're going to have the control and it's going to be about 15. Um, and then from there we're going to create a western blot and basically to create a western blot you're going to take the gel and you're going to put it onto a piece of paper. Smush. Um, so I'm going to draw the western blot. Um, control. And it's going to be the same as here because obviously. Um, but for this, we're going to need to create antibodies, and antibodies go after foreign things in the body, so it's going to go after the antigen. So, for example, um, for this experiment, we're going to have mouse anti human. P53 and then P53 is the antigen. And that's going to be our primaries. So we're going to have um, we're going to have it right on top, and then we're going to have let's just say go anti um, mouse, and then we're going to have H. RP and that's going to be the secondary and HRP is that um, once again that we can see uh, luminescence to see the activity of the protein levels and then right on top of that we're going to have the secondary right on top of the primary proteins um, and then what would be our expected results so we're going to have the control again and we're going to have the P53 overexpression. We're going to have a little bit of light, and then we're going to have a lot more.
here.